Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I am going to discuss how to use a scheduled flow or how to create a scheduled flow in Power Automate. So here we will take an example to send a reminder email to a specific user uh, at a specific time. A time could be, be many reminder you can send, uh, hourly reminder you can send or for every second, every minute. You can execute the flows or by a week, by a day, or by a month. You can define the time interval at what time it should execute. It will execute. Now let's start with the power argument. So if I come and uh, open the power automate cloud platform. So here you have a tab to create. So let's say create, then say instant, then give the name as a, a reminder, email for let's say PU data. Okay. And uh, by default, this is picking the time, but uh, instead of this time, I would like to say this should execute at Well, nine, 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 after nine, nine, fifteen. Okay. And I would like to uh, execute the flow or trigger the flow on Saturday only. So I will deselect days. So here you have an option to select month, week, day, hours, minutes, seconds. Accordingly, it will execute. So I will say create. Now it is creating a flow. Right, here you can go and select the time zone. Otherwise, by default, it will pick the time zone of uh, US and then it will be a problem. That flow will not be executed as per your expectation. So I selected a time, right? Now, I would like to add action. So we know how to add action and then send an email. So I will say send an email. I will pick this right uh, define to whom I should send an email. So I will say I would like to send an email to the Deva here. This is a, a reminder. Okay. And uh, here you can specify whatever you want to write. Hi. Please share updated PU data files before COB today. Okay. And I would like to say thanks. Right. So this is how I have uh, defined the a body for the email, I am just going to save this flow. This flow is saved. Now you wants to test it. You will be able to test it. Okay, it will run immediately for the testing purpose. And say run. Okay, so if I go to my outlook and if I see, so this email has triggered just now. So as per our defined time, the flow will be executed automatically. You will be able to see the run history. Okay. In past, I created a one flow. And uh, if I say this is okay. So this is the reminder for files. This is the scheduled flow. So here you can see this flow is executed every day at 0, 5, uh, 55 or 54 a.m. every day. Right, history you will be able to see. So let me uh, delete this flow because I don't need this flow anymore. And again, I'm not going to send any kind of reminder. So this is just an introduction how we can use the scheduled flow. So first you need to select the type of flow. Then you need to define the trigger. 
So trigger is time here in case of scheduled flow. And then uh, you need to add the actions. What you also do, you can send an uh, attachment to the people's. You can do a lot many things. Right. Then test the flow. And yes. So I would like to say thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Happy learning. Please do not forget to subscribe. Web shop. Thank you.